Well, hey guys, it's Johnny Cass, and once again, welcome. Welcome to your Monday morning inspiration, bringing you a little bit of sunshine into your week. Now, here's the deal. I know it's a Monday morning, and I know you're probably just sitting in your cup of coffee or your cup of green tea or whatever it might be, but I'm going to get you to think a little bit this morning, because I know that you like to think. So here's the thing. I don't know about you, but I know plenty of people that fall into the victim mentality. You know, the victim mentality, I can't succeed, I can't do this, my life is miserable, I'm never going to be able to accomplish whatever it is I want to be able to accomplish. I mean, we all fall into that victim trap. Believe it or not, even I fall into the victim trap occasionally. Now, here's the interesting thing, and this is where I'm going to get you to think this morning. You see, we all do victim thinking, but what's not so obvious is that being a victim is actually a call for revenge. That's right. When you're being a victim, what you're actually doing is you're seeking revenge. You see, we're in a struggle. We're in a struggle to get back at someone by actually playing the victim role. But the interesting thing is that we're ultimately only harming ourselves. Now, if you've been watching some of my other Monday morning inspirations, you'll know that our patterns and you'll know that our personalities and the way that we do things is developed very early in our age. So think about it. As a kid, as a child, we learn that if we don't get what we want, we're going to throw a tantrum and we'll get revenge. You just wait and see and I'll run away and you'll never ever see me again and then you'll see who's going to be sorry. I mean, you probably said that or you probably thought that as a kid. So whenever we get ill or whenever we create failure in our life, Believe it or not, what we're actually doing is we're getting revenge on somebody else. So let me give you an example. I was working with a client of mine who kind of grew up in a bit of a chaotic household. You know, they, they, their family loved them, but they loved them only through money. And so my client constantly sabotaged herself. She fell victim to this whole money thing because she was getting revenge unconsciously on her parents because her parents had it so ingrained in her mind that money was the most important thing. But she resisted that and so therefore she was never had enough money, she was always struggling, she was always playing the victim to that. So what she was trying to do was she was trying to get back to her parents or get back at her parents for some old stuff that didn't really matter anymore. So here's what I want you to do. Like I said, I'm going to get you to think this week. If you're a victim to money, or if you're a victim to relationship, or if you're a victim to your circumstances, ask yourself, who are you getting revenge on? Is it a sibling? Is it a parent? Is it a friend? Is it a loved one? Because remember that revenge is also a form of avoiding to taking the next steps. You use revenge and you use the victim mentality to stop you from moving forward to do the things that you really need to do. You stay stuck in that mindset because you just don't want to push through the next level. Remember, stop being a victim. Stop trying to take unconscious revenge because at the end of the day, the only person that you're really hurting is yourself. Well, that's it from me for this week's Monday morning. A little bit thought-provoking. Until next time, as always, be well and, of course, be amazing.